Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 22 with Kings Lynn. And where we left off, we'd done the first two games of the season. Let's just have a look. Um, and we did uh, okay. Let me just remember, we got a draw and a win. And then after, we, we went on a nice little run of form. And then... Things kind of went a little bit up and down, like a bit of a roller coaster ride. I've, I've got the goal scorers up. I don't think I prefer having the little colours actually. <laughs> I can actually tell what happened. So around about I think it was here, uh, the maiden egg game, we got three injuries. We got um, Catton, Scully, and um, uh, who was it? Hallam. And now we have also in that time. Aduro got injured as well and Nick Neal like we have had so many injuries at the beginning of the season we're finally kind of out of that um, issue uh, along along the way so we now have a team which we can actually field and it's not not like half a so like, I think at a couple of games we played Kieta up front as a striker I mean he's how, he's 5'9 he's not tiny but he's quite like a speedy player he's not really a lone striker, so it didn't really work that well. I mean, he did get a couple of goals, but that is why we had this blip here. I'm surprised we got a couple of draws out of it, to be honest, because we were really struggling for players. Um, but the, the start of the season really helped us out, getting all these wins early. We're now playing Flyde and Swindon. Where are Flyde and Lee? 11th, and Swindon are 9th. And we are sitting at fourth at the moment which is pretty decent to be fair I think um, I think probably this season we are going to be looking to getting playoffs maybe even automatic not sure yet we'll just have to see how the season goes like we're talking about it now it's very early days um, so yeah we're going to jump into the flight game actually what's there um, if we go to uh, stages league table last five games we're a flight they are oh they're kind of they're not really in that good a form actually one two drawn two lost one whereas actually we're in we're in worse form anyway so we're coming into this game after a win finally breaking that terrible record we've got so i'm not sure we're gonna actually uh do much better um than these guys at the moment but we do have people back from injury who are actually fully fit now not just straight back from injury so i think we might be able to do something so team we're going for is davies and goal clements odagunju clayworth and mills at the back mendel and young in midfield and haste hallam and sago in midfield and then Catton up front uh haste has actually been pretty decent for us this season he's got himself a goal three assists got an overall quite a good rating scully has been an absolute marvel like 6 8 he's he's the guy who gets in there wins the header four goals out of four games um so he being injured wasn't great i'm probably not going to be able to play him this this game either unless we really need him um but kieta um has been pretty good as well i mean he only got one goal but he's he's been quite good at like causing problems for the defense like running at them and dan hurley who we brought in this season, just as like a an under 18s can grow into quite a high potential. Um, I thought it was higher than that when I signed him, but it's still not bad. Um, we've actually been playing him because of all the injuries. He got himself a goal. Got himself hit out of two appearances, four off the bench. Got himself a goal with a 7.0 rating. I think I'm going to just keep playing him this season. He fits into the role that Hallam plays at the moment. Uh, but we can move Hallam out to the right. Uh, so go over to the left and then put um, uh, put Hurley on if uh, Kieta or any of these are injured. So that's the plan anyway. But let's let's jump into this game and uh, see what we've got ahead of us. I'm not expecting massive result after a poor run of form in the league, but I'm hoping we can get something out of it. Um, just because we need to start getting results back so we don't slip too far down the table really i wanted to get us onto the uh onto the playoffs minimum really okay they're throwing they now have the ball in midfield they're passing it nicely around our defense and there's a shot wayward luckily 
Um, I will say Davies has had really good run of form with us. Um, we would have been a lot worse off if we didn't have a good keeper. They are flipping heck. How did that go in? Maddox. I recognise that name. I think he was one of them players to watch a few seasons ago. Who people always signed on like FIFA and Football Manager. Oh, but that was a great finish. Davies should have got there. Me bigging him up. And he's gone and let that one in. A bit of a soft goal. But you know what? We'll give it to him. Oh, for goodness sake, I think Hallam's just got injured again. Hallam has been the regret signing of the season. He's um, constantly getting injured. I don't think I've had him play a full game for us yet. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, he's been a bit of a disappointment. Okay, so half-time, 1-0 to them. And overall, we have been the more positive. Just haven't had that opportunity. Um, Hallam is playing well but looking injured. Uh, looking like he's taking a knock from the, what it was saying. Injured and struggling to run it off. I don't really want to lose him for much longer um, than we have. So I'll take him off and see if we can rest him up for that injury. And then Sago is playing pretty awful. I think there's again transfer rumours floating around which are making him unsettled. So unfortunately it looks like... I might make him a support advanced playmaker. See if that helps out. Looks like... um. Uh, Sago will be out probably this season. I probably we need the money, so I wouldn't be surprised if we do cash him in anyway. Um, the only issue is here actually we've got Haste, who can play at left back, but no one to cover that left back position. Um, I think we're just going to go with those two changes, and um, uh, then if we need to make a change later on in the second half, we will. Hopefully we'll be able to pick ourselves up and get something out of this game. Okay, so chance to us. Mendel heads it on into the box. Headed away though. Clements has it. Plays it through to Haste. Haste has the ball on the left. Clements, oh, poor pass, but he gets it back. Clements, well played. Puts it in. Kieta with the header. He has been deadly. Last season, not this season, because he's only got one goal this season. But last season, he's been deadly with the header. He got a couple for us. Uh, a surprising player to win the headers. Like I said before, he's a bit of a speedy player. You usually see them running off the shoulder and getting a goal that way. But I'll take him. Love it. Superb from our substitute. Okay, Mills with the free kick up to Haste. Headed down to Mendel. Catton to Hurley. Hurley to Mills to Haste. Mills has the ball. Shoots. <sighs> see, this is where Catton should have been on his toes to get there. Mills now with the ball to Hurley. Mills to Mendel. Mills still has it. Puts it in. Kieta. Oh my goodness. See, this is what this team can do. Oh, they're, they're just playing so well. Like it's, But it's so frustrating because then they'll have a game like the last five games where we lose like so much. We lose by like three or four goals. It's really a struggle. But And it just seems like a different team show up. So I'm not sure what the consistency is. Probably tied legs, actually. We don't have enough people. Maddox with the ball in. Oof, I thought that was going in. Yeah, I think it's tied legs. We don't have enough people to cover when people are unfit. Davies, well out to claim. Throws it out to Alagunju straight away. Clements now takes the ball up the left. Haste isn't really running, but there you go. Mendel to Clements. Alagunju to Clements to Haste. Nice passing, Hurley, Clements, to Olegunju, to Hurley, to Clements. Flipping neck boys, we're holding on to this ball. Haste now has the ball on the wing, charging up. Puts the long ball forwards. That's got to be a penalty. Kiet is pushed by Leek. Who is our penalty taker? I think it might be Young. Is he still on? Yeah, I think Young's all right at penalties. He's all right at penalties. He knows how to put them away. Superb goal from Jack Young. Third goal of the season. Again, a player that we brought in and has been showing his quality. He, without him, I don't think this team works. He's the player that holds that back line together. He works just in front of the defence and he does it so well. I've got a lot of tired people out there though. I'm thinking what change I could make on the bench. I've got Rawlinson and that's about it. Mendel now to Hurley, to Kieta, Kieta, through to Catton. Catton actually gets a goal, fourth goal of the season. He's been slightly disappointed. I think he's been quite good 
when we've been able to play him, but because he got injured, it's really hard to tell. But he he's the thing is when he gets into one on one on one positions like this, it's a pretty it's more certain than um, Willock was before. I feel, but then Willock was a thirty goal a season striker. Uh, we are definitely missing him, but I think Hatton is gonna get there. He's gonna be that sort of player for us, um, and that's really put the cherry on uh, cherry on top. Is that how you say it? I think that's the saying. 4-1 against Floyd. That was a game which I thought we were going to struggle a lot more in. First half was a different team. Kieta made a lot of difference bringing him on. I think I might have to play him more often. Uh, Jack Young getting on the score sheet and Catton. I mean, 22-year-old, he's got plenty of time to develop. He's got bags of potential, great mental attributes and physical attributes. The technical were nearly there, but he'll work on them. I mean, three goals or four goals now, because um, that probably hasn't um, registered yet. Four goals so far this season, um, and we're, what, 10, 11 games in? It's not the best at the moment, but it's definitely getting there. Maybe give him a season to settle in next season, he'll be smashing them in. Uh, well done, lads. Love to see it. Where does that actually put us on the table as well? With another win. Second place, two points behind Grimsby. I mean... I think second place get automatic promotion as well. We might not be able to get first, but let's aim for it while we're here. But if we can get second, then I'm happy. Um, but yeah, let's see. Swindon are 10th at the moment. So our next game is against a team which we should potentially be able to beat as well. So um, we're going to jump ahead to the next game. Just quickly check Hallam. Two to three days. He has had a terrible time with injuries. Where's, where's the injuries report? Uh, da, 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 injuries just this year pulled groin pulled hamstring bruised knee like he, all in really quick succession he was out for two weeks seven days and uh, currently out for a couple of days with this I think he might be one that I'm going to let go at the end of the season unless he really impresses at the second half of the season he's not he's on a lot of money and he's not been able to play enough for me to justify £600 a week for at our level that's like massive like we're on sixty-eight pounds positive. <laughs> we're just about hanging on in there. I mean, once we sell, like Sago is wanted by Birmingham. That's a massive club to move to, isn't it? League One. He'll definitely um, start kicking off if we don't sell him to there. And Mustafa Alagunju is wanted by Shrewsbury again, a League One side. The problem is they cheap out on us. I mean, Alagunju, yeah, technically fourteen to a hundred k. I want the higher leveller. I want 100k for him if he's going to go. He's the main like building block of our team, really. He holds that defence together. I mean, thank goodness we brought in Clayworth when we did last season. He's been absolutely fantastic since we signed him. Look at that rating last season. 7.11. 39 appearances, one goal, one assist, one player in a match. But for a defender, absolutely outstanding. So at least we have Clayworth. Nick Neal is actually a player who could potentially be even better than Olegunju anyway. And he would just have to play him if, if uh, Olegunju decides to go. We do have Aduro as well, 23-year-old. Play on the right, left and centre. Got bags of potential as well. So we're not going to lose a player that we really need potentially. But... I mean, we need the right money for him if we're going to let him go. That's the thing. I think my promise is currently 190, but his his value's depreciated since then. So don't know what the offer will be if we ever get one. Seems like these players want them and then just disappear. I mean, for uh, Charles to go 200 to 250k is what I'm asking for. No less. We don't go any less than that. So yeah. Um, after all that, we're going to quickly jump to the next match against Swindon. Okay, so here we are at the Swindon game, and something that I did not consider is the the distance between the games uh, was three days. Where are we? Three days. Played on the third, we're now on the sixth, and we've got to play them. Uh, we have got some tired legs out there already, and most of this team are second choice players, which is going to be painful. I'm trying to think of a be the best way to work this team right now. I'm coming up blank, really, with <laughs> what we can do. Also, Kieta off on international duty for the Mali under-20s. I mean, 
it's annoying we don't have him, but you know, good on him. He's got an international appearance for his uh, performances, so you can't you can't knock him, can you, for uh, being able to do that? The only player I'm slightly worried about is Mendel. He's looking tired. Um, we have a lot of players who aren't quite up to the same level that we would want them to be. Unfortunately, uh, let me just have a look. I probably could switch uh, Vuka J and Sago round and then he plays an inverted winger attack and then play him as an advanced playmaker support I mean it's a go plays better on that side uh, apparently we've got Scully who can come on now when we need it probably we'll have to change around to do two up front at some point um, you've got Jones playing in centre defence we've got Maloney who is not a uh, not even close to our first team, really. He's got really high potential. Uh, my my backroom staff kept telling me to keep hold of him, but um, because he's got loads of potential. But I'm not really seeing that whenever we play him. But we'll we'll go with it. So yeah, this is a squad that we've got. We've got Reese Davies in goal again. Uh, we've got Robinson, Rawlinson, Olegunju, and Maloney at the back. Very very different defence to the last game. Uh, then we've got Matty Jones and Mendel. Uh, in midfield, and then we've got to go Hurley, Avaka J, and Catton up front. So, um, yeah, let's get into this game and see what we can do. Forgot to check how they how Swindon would, did last game. Hopefully, they are on a bad run of form. Uh, we can uh, we can capitalise on that. Um, oh, we've got a tunnel uh, interview. Uh, what do you attribute to your recent good away run to? Um, Hard work, no substitute for that. Do you build on the impressive performance last? Uh, carry on that confidence. Do you think the first goal here is crucial? Uh, a probably approach for sure. There you go. Oh my goodness, big game for the season apparently. Um, so there's the Swindon squad. Uh, I'm not really sure about them, how they are doing. I only can see 11 goals in 13 games. And there's our boys. Um, this is not our first team squad. This is going to be... This is going to be a difficult one for sure. If we can win this though, it shows that we can uh, we can make the best out of any situation, let's say. And we might actually be able to do something this season. Ball in by Vukajay. He gathers it, puts it back in. Jones against the keeper. Vukajay back in, headed away. Great start by us. Olegunju over to Vukajay. Vukajay puts it in. Katten can't quite get there, but it's a corner to us, and the pressure will continue. Will it be a highlight still? It will. Uh, Vukajay puts it in, headed away. I need to improve our um, corners. I haven't really done proper... Oh no. It's taken a knock. Oh, we don't have anyone to cover Sago's position. That's going to be awful. Um, okay, Nick, the beginning of the second half is going to be awkward. I wonder if um, let's go. Oh, what a free kick! Saved by the keeper. I'm I'm so distracted. So go looks like he can play for it. I think we'll be all right till half time. Catton with the header pairs with a good save. We're really going for it at the moment, aren't we? Robinson with the throw in. Oh boy. Oh boy. What a terrible throw in. And now we're uh, we're pegged back by Swindon, and they look like they want a goal. Hunt has the ball. Plays it into the middle. Plays it into the middle. Um, squared it into the centre of the uh, box, and that is a decent goal by Swindon. Poor defender by us, giving away at a throw-in where we didn't need to. Disappointing. Um, and all of that positive momentum at the beginning has gone to nothing, really. Okay, their chance with a throw-in. Plays it up to Udo. Udo back to Hunt. It looks like Hunt might be the problem here. He's, he's causing problems for our defence on that right, uh, right-hand side. Anderson puts it in. Oh, Abraham's Tristan, not Tammy, Tristan Abrahams gets his second goal of the game and we've gone behind last game and came back. Can we do it again with minimal players? Uh, I'm not sure. I am really not sure what we're going to do um, second half. Okay, we go in to the half time 2-0 down. Um, seems to be unaffected by the knock. He's not playing well anyway, so we have to think about where are we going to put people. Is there anyone who can play on the left? No. We're going to have to do a completely different tactic here, I think. I think we're going to have to put Hurley 
So not having a great game up and bring on Scully. And Scully plays as a poacher, advanced forward, deep line forward support. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll keep him as deep line forward support. Um, Sko actually looks like he'll be all right. I'm gonna leave him on for now, and then we'll, we might have to sub him off for Jack Young potentially. Maloney has no one who he's a six point two. What do I do? Nothing I can do about that. Okay, Clayworth's coming on for Rawlinson because he's not playing well. And I don't know what to do with Maloney. I mean, I could bring on Zach Mills, potentially. Who plays best? Junior Robinson. Just put him out on the left for a game. And then that's all of our subs used. And we just hope that Sego doesn't get injured. I think that's that's the, the way we go for it, isn't it? We say... Um, I last uh, video as well. I, I clicked the wrong stuff, so I'm just making sure. I could, oh, Matty Jones isn't. What's going on with Matty Jones? Why isn't he happy with what I just said? Okay, free changes, nothing to do but just watch this game out now and hope that we can uh, grab a, maybe a draw <laughs> uh, if we're really good this half a win. But uh, let's see, Robinson to Mendel, Jones back to Mendel, up to Robinson to go. To Mendel. Oh, I should have put Robinson as inverted because he's right footed, isn't he? Robinson up to Sago again. Sago through to Catton. Catton. Oh, it's just that keeper is insane. Getting all them saves. Very annoying. We put him in uh, inverted. Uh, did that. Inverted wing back. Attack. I don't know. <laughs> like, we've lost this game. I've kind of come to terms with that. Headed just over by Taylor on a corner. If it went, if they went one goal more, we we're definitely out of it. All right, go attacking, shout, encourage. Let's see what the lads can do for this last last little bit. Davies now has it. Clayworth plays it forward to Mills. Mills to Jones. Jones with the long lob forward to no one. Frustrating when that happens because. We need to hold the ball as much as we can, really, at this point. Um, Abraham's on a hat-trick. Plays that ball and runs off the shoulder. I'm watching him. I'm not sure if we, we've got the defence here to stop him. Um, it seems like Clayworth's doing a better job than Rawlinson was, though. They're doing some nice passing play here. Maguire now has the ball. Plays it over to Gilead. To Taylor. To Glennon. To Udo. And that is 3-0. And that is us done. Swindon have well and truly beaten us. Not our strongest squad. And I just am frustrated that we don't have the depth. And we don't have the ability to get any more players in because of our current financial trouble. So it's like this is going to happen in the season. We're going to have bits where we don't have enough players to cover the games. If you have a game within three days, you're not going to have all your players fit. And we don't have enough players to have backup in positions. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Come on! That was ridiculous. Who was... Oh, it was our wing back. It's because we put Robinson on the left back and he's he dropped his man. There he is. Marking no one. Just watch him. He's on that back post. Absolutely open. Richardson, what the heck are we doing? It's like we don't know how to play football anymore. This is a truly humbling defeat. Oh, and it could, it could go up to more. Mills has the ball. We have the ball for now, but just wait for the the punt up front, and then we lose the ball. Robinson has the ball for some reason. He's playing like an attacking midfielder. So go puts it in, and Vuka Jay, that has just summed up our game. From six yards out, he spas it, spasses it, smashes it over, spaffs it is what I was trying to say, spaffs it right over the bar. Oh, well done, Clayworth. See, this is the thing when we our defence. When we had Playworth on, it made a difference. We didn't make that change soon enough. Mendel to Scully to Vuka J. Where are you going? Put the ball in, will you? Oh, my goodness. He just runs it into the corner when we need a goal. As Catton played awful. Mendel played badly. Robinson played badly. Mills played badly. Maloney, Hurley, Rawlins. Like, all of our team played badly. We weren't good enough. Um... And it just shows us that maybe we're not ready 
But it's annoying, I think, maybe the pressure as well. It was a TV, our first televised game, I think, for the lads. Maybe the pressure was a bit too much. Still frustrating, but you can understand. They're, they're not a massive team, and it's quite a big thing to go on TV and play play against a squad, especially when you're not a first-team squad. I'm making excuses for them, aren't I? Um, uh, we didn't do all the things we were meant to do to play our, play our football, and when that happens, it's hard to win. Why do you think it? Why do you think it's your fault? Uh, I'm the manager. I'm always at fault if we don't win. Yeah, I'll take it for the lads. Team suffered million If it's Swindon, supporters are far from happy. What's your reaction? It was a poor performance and poor result. We certainly will be working on, on some of our mistakes. How does such a dis disappointing result impact on your plans from now on? Uh, it's not quite a case of going back to a drawing board, but we have the thing things to need to work on and has to start as soon as possible I mean I don't really want to do an interview at that point do you know what I mean <laughs> it's like so we're a game in hand over a week. so basically we we lose and these guys win we move down to well, we can't be beaten by Swindon so we move down to fifth maybe man we could go all the way down to ninth I don't know actually because Swindon would drop down as well and they're a point below us. I think we're all right at this point in the season. So go uh, injured for 12 day, twelve to 15 days. Yet another injury. It's kind of frustrating at this point that we keep getting injuries. I knew Sago was going to get a little bit of an injury from that game anyway. Um, so yeah, that was a kind of up and down video, wasn't it? We played absolutely fantastic and then got absolutely wiped out by Swindon. And then we've got Dagon Redbridge in another four days so we're gonna we're gonna really struggle with that game as well i think we've probably got more players that we i mean uh kiet is still on international break but other than that i think everyone is back fully fit hopefully then we've got a week between fa cup against spenny Moore. i probably won't show that one because it's too close to this game i'll probably what we'll do is we'll jump to uh, do i want to jump that much should i jump to january Start start of the new year, and then yeah, we'll we'll go all the way up to Maidstone Hartlepool, um, off, off of camera, and then we'll um we'll play those two games, and we'll have a look at what like the uh, transfer window is looking like for us if we're selling players at that point. I mean, it's really weird with um the national league that I don't think we have an actual. I think the transfer window is open. But I think the upper teams, the teams above us who are actually in the football league, have a a set transfer league. So we uh, transfer league transfer window. So I don't think we'll get offers in for these guys until January sort of time. And our January transfers depend on if either of these go really. Because if we sell them for say hundred hundred grand for him, two hundred grand for him, that's three hundred grand in the bank which we probably won't get a lot of, but at least it's money, and it's 650 and 900 in the wage. So we can bring in some players to cover positions and that. It's looking dire, isn't it, for our um, for our fitness, but we hopefully will get through this bit of a rough patch and then come out the other end um, once we uh, get to like these games with a bit more of a settled team and everything so yeah thanks for watching remember to like comment subscribe and come back next time to see how we're doing and i will see you when i see you